I, I would love to have more people come in and experience printing uh, in a studio like this. I think that it is really exciting to see something go from your mind to like printed in a, in a day and to kind of have that in your hands. And I would love to share that experience with as many people as possible. Hello, my name is Emily Wismer and I'm a printer. I run a studio called Lady Pilot Letterpress here at Liberty. I've been running Lady Pilot for about 10 years. I've been at Liberty for around six. I teach letterpress, primarily handset type, and I run a business selling greeting cards around the country and internationally. Letterpress is an incredibly beautiful, very slow way of printing, but it's very tactile. It's very hands-on and not that far off from Gutenberg. A lot of the letters that I have that I use for teaching are probably 100 years old. My press is 115 at this point, the one that I use every day. So I feel like when I print and when I bring people into the studio, it's kind of connecting to a history that you don't really get from a computer. Letterpress was kind of the birth of literacy uh, across the world. It allowed for books to be affordable. And um, now if I printed a book, it allowed for it to be very unaffordable, but it would be really fun to do. And I've taught everyone from a kid who turned four yesterday um, on my presses to people in their 90s. And I, I've never found anybody who wasn't excited about it. My most common products are greeting cards. I have about 300 different greeting cards for most occasions, but especially if they are snarky occasions. My process goes from designing to having plates made to putting them on the press, and then the, every single card is hand-fed into that press for every color that's done. I can go in a week from beginning to end, but it's a slow process. I would say my work is therapeutic, if only because it helps me get an uh, inappropriate sense of humor out in a constructive way, but also I think that being physical in the world and being physical in your art is really therapeutic. It's a whole body connection to something versus just kind of, I use computers for my design work, but I don't find that they give me that level of involvement. When I use the Chandler and Price, the press is motorized, but while the flywheel spins on one side, I am hand feeding it and uh, each color goes in separately, even the score goes in separately, and um, there's a rhythm to the Chandler and Price that a friend of mine used to say sound kind of like a boat rocking, and it's very rhythmical and very um, zen to do. I teach at least once a month, I'm trying to teach more, and my favorite thing about it has become the mistakes people make as they learn how to print, and it's wonderful to watch and then it's also made me a lot more relaxed about my own process and to not really sweat making mistakes anymore. What I hope people get out of what I print is connectedness. I got an email from a friend and he sent me a picture of a card and he said, is this yours? And I said, yeah, yeah, it's mine. And he'd found it in a baseball field in New York and it actually had like a love note on the inside and it was kind of a romantic sort of um, sexy card and it was really cool to see when he uh, when he sent me that, to think about the way people actually use what I make to connect to one another. And I think sometimes it's easy to forget when you're just kind of in the process of creating something or writing a joke or putting it on press, that actually the real goal of it is for it to go out into the world and for someone to give it to someone else. Each little bit of that is kind of a little bit of some kind of love in the world and I, I dig that.